where was the picture? Where was this picture if she was spotted? Was she actually uh, photographed out? Because people are doubting these spot, spots. Uh, she's been spotted here. She, she was in the car going to a funeral. But until there's actually a picture of her or some sort of a well, I statement, don't, I don't th th these doubts are going to continue, Kinsey. I know that the doubts are going to continue. I reported via Fox News last week that I have uh, I know somebody that goes to school with her children and uh, and I also have a, another contact in the area and they have both said that they've seen her and that the neighborhood is fiercely protective of her and that they think that this is that all of the speculation is ridiculous and unfair based on the information that they have. And they've also told me that once we all have the same information, we're going to feel incredibly, you know, the Kim Kardashians making fun of uh, the Princess of Wales, the Blake Lively's making light of this subject. Everybody is going to feel horrifically ashamed and, and they're going to feel real guilt about the way we've behaved throughout this process. But I think so many of the rumours are generated by just genuine interest in her welfare. I mean, she has been the most visible royal, one of the hardest working royals, and then to disappear from sight, no explanation other than she had abdominal surgery, no explanation about uh, what that was, what the recovery time's going to be. You can understand the royal family know that they are going to cop this sort of conjecture. So, I don't know, they're not naive, so the way they're handling it is giving rise to even more rumours. If she is fine and can be seen around the village, then why can't she do a 5, 10-second Zoom video and say, I understand people are curious, I understand people are concerned, but I am fine, I'll be back uh, full-time duties as soon as I can. And that would silence all these craziness and all these rumours. I think that they are trying to stay in line with what Queen Elizabeth would have done, which is keep calm, carry on, and, and not listen to the noise. You know, also Queen Elizabeth the weekend... was working while she was ill. Queen Elizabeth was very elderly and she was still working despite uh, being rather ill right up until till the end there almost. So she, I, I, this isn't to me how Queen Elizabeth, and Queen Elizabeth, uh, sure, she had some missteps after the tragic death of Diana in misjudging the public mood, but she understood the media. She knew how to treat the media, and this is ham-fisted in the extreme, and it's also given rise to all these rumours about Prince William's alleged affair. It's a topic we have not touched on this program, but now it, every mainstream outlet is writing about this, saying that he cheated on Kate um, and that this is part of her reaction, that the, perhaps that affair never ended. Uh, can you tell us about this? Is there any credence to these rumours? And, and uh, there's a lot also being reported about the other woman. Yeah, I mean, uh, what I can tell you is that literally no one has been able to prove these rumors. They started around 2018, 2019, uh, and this woman, Lady Rose, is a factually a friend of the Princess of Wales. Oliver, her son, was a page boy at King Charles's coronation last year. In August of 2023, the Princess of Wales uh, stayed overnight with Rose and her family because she had an all-night festival uh, on her estate. Um, you know, they, they, Pippa's daughter, who was recently born, was named Rose. I'm not naming my child after my brother-in-law's mistress. So there's literally, you know, Tom Bauer <laughs> has said that this is not true. Robert Lacey, a well-respected royal reporter, this is not true. Tina Brown, even Omid Scobie says it's not true. This is a rumor that was that started in the United States in In Touch magazine. And as Tom Bauer very astutely pointed out, that is one of Meghan Markle's. That was one of her favorite magazines to appear in prior to meeting Prince Harry. <laughs> and he alludes to the fact that Meghan Markle is the one that initially leaked this to prove that the palace protects Kate mm -hmm. and, and, and not Meghan. Um, and so several people have pointed to Meghan Markle being the, the person that started this rumor to prove a point. Wow. Kinsey Schofield, you always have the inside story for us. Thank you so much for your time this evening.